golf is a funny game though. Um, what do you think is, what do you think the worst thing to, that you've ever had happen to you on a golf course? It might not be the worst thing, but the, at least the most stressful thing this past season, we had the Spartan cup and there was supposed to be that big storm coming through. And it's like, Oh, it, right. it was like, this is, I remember setting up the day of, and it was so dark and we thought it was just like going to get rained out. Um, and it was just really stressful. Cause it's like, I've got all the sponsor signs out there. Mm -hmm. Things got pretty wet. Mm -hmm. We got rained That's on pretty hard for like 10 minutes, but then it was clear after that. Mm -hmm. But just having, that was the biggest golf event that I've put on and having that many people there, like golfers and volunteers I had and all that. I mean, it was like 75, 80 people. Mm -hmm. And we're just like praying that it doesn't rain. And so I feel like just that, well, then also if we were focusing on playing our round, right. but like I'm also trying to coordinate my volunteers and like, it's fine, it's not going to rain. And it's like, it's getting dark, darker and yeah. darker. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So you're saying like the anxiety of the playing an event? <laughs> that, all that, that kind of made stuff. that round so much more stressful. Not so much the golf shots, but just that like this this tournament needs to be successful. Like we're mm -hmm. raising money. That's that's the whole point of it. And it's like I don't you don't want people having bad experiences at your fundraiser tournament. Yeah. Um, Especially when it's your first. You're like, uh Yeah. <clears throat> um <laughs> my like censored one. Um <laughs> I don't know. Probably when I snapped my putter. I was just not I remember having, that. Cuz I'm just, pretty sure we were back and forth all day in our rounds. I was not I was not playing well. I was not Actually, I was I was okay off the off the box, but like you know the the old I mean, nothing you never have all three together. No. Like no, no, no. driving mid putt. No. I could not hit a putt to save my life. Like three footer Five foot or twenty foot, it didn't matter. <laughs> Couldn't hit shit, and I just had it. And that putter was that putter was old. I had another one with me, so I just yeah. I'm not sure you actually. Fun. You might have been over the fourteen clubs in your bag that day, anyways. <laughs> the fact that you pulled out a second putter after snapping. I only had a second putter, and I had yeah. No, I, I had I have the right <laughs> clubs, but yeah, no, I I snapped that bitch right. In that half. was on seventeen at Winoa. It was. It sure was. I felt I, honestly, I should have had a like. We should have been recording because it would like those chiropractor videos. Big, like, all right, take a deep breath in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then just fucking snap it. But yeah, no, I snapped that bitch over my leg. I was not happy. I remember Dylan just like hysterically laughing. I think he still had like the putter head, like the head and like, you know, a third of the yeah, club, yeah. of the shaft, <laughs> like in his bag. That was a couple of years ago now. Yeah, yeah. But ever since, you know, it's just goose fra ba now, you know, who cares? just golf nobody gives a shit that might have been the first time somebody in my group broke a club at the course so you've seen it before where you hear or see somebody elsewhere mm -hmm. break something mm -hmm. um or like you you pull up the next hole and you just see half a club sticking out the trash Bro. can yeah <laughs> no that that putter had just it did me dirty that day so i i know i was moving on from it anyways just yeah. try to get one last round in with old faithful and <laughs> old faithful turned out to be a bad person on the flip side of that what is the, like the best thing that's happened to you on the golf course or the best thing that, you know, maybe in your group or, or something like that? Best thing. <clears throat> hmm. I think for me, I had a pretty, my brother Kevin and I played in like a, a best, uh, a best ball or no, it was a scramble. It was a two man scramble. Uh, and we got a skin on hole one, two, three, four at um, Stone Creek in Oswego. Uh, it was par three. And I, Kevin hit his short, like real short. I hit mine way left behind like this big ass tree. <laughs> we took mine just because it was there. Kevin chipped his pretty close. And then I hit mine up the green. It rolled like, it was like a 50 foot 60 foot chip in yeah uh we won it it was like eight, i think it was like 160 bucks i mean that was pretty cool because nice. nobody else like just the fact that we missed the green but i still won, <laughs> yeah still won won money skin. on it uh that's pretty cool the almost hole in one was pretty sweet uh i've hold out 
I held out from like a like 180 yards. That's probably the coolest thing that happened to me. Yeah. Um, out at uh, what's that place in Sterling? You know what I'm talking about? Springbrook. I don't know. Have you ever I've played out there? there. Yeah. Wide open, pretty wide open course, but there's like a longer par five, uh, and it goes downhill. Mm-hmm. And I shanked my second shot. Whoops. <laughs> so, um, or shanked my third, my third shot. Yeah. So for four, I had like I was like 180 out, and I just happened to hit it, hit right part of the green, just went straight in. That was sick. So like a long ass like mistake. Burn. Yeah, yeah. But that's mine. What about yours? Probably last year's 75 round. Mm-hmm. I just that was my lowest ever, and I just feel like I, I had everything going that day, which I might have been the first time, my only round ever that it was like driver irons putting was all mm. on. And looking back at it too, because I, I love going back and like looking on my Arcos or the Gen app and seeing like my stats with the fairways hit, greens hit, putts mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And even with that 75, I had two birdies. I had, I double bogeyed nine that day. Damn. Double, double bogeyed nine and he still shot a 75. And on, I had two three putts as well, where it's like you eliminate those three strokes there, it's a 72, two over. That's like easy, like that. Cl- like we're talking, uh, yeah. in a couple inches. Yeah. For for seventy two, um, but even with only those two birdies, that ain't a bad day. But that was definitely my, I mean, by far my best round. But that's up there in the moments. The other thing is that, um, I think it was the qualifying round. The member guest when we, we that guy had the hole in one back on five. Oh, that we was a different sick. hole, that and it was, was just a roar. That was cool. And he, like, it, was, it wasn't a one hopping in. It was a one hopping in off the front of the green, and he used, like, a... This isn't... It's not a long part. It was, like... It's, like, 150, 155. And he it used, plays. like, a, like a like wood, a five right? No, he used, like, a wood. I know he's, like, a little bit of an older, older yeah. heavier guy. But, yeah, hit it off the front of the green, and it took one hop and went straight in the middle of the green, right in the hole. That was wild. I just remember because we were on the back somewhere, but it, it's not that far from there. Like no, it was like the seventy-five yards from yeah, that yeah. green, and yep. just hearing that, and then it was just like you know we're still had more holes to play, and they were playing more holes, but like the word was just kind of going around the course. That was like, nuts. They hold out over there on five that for an ace. And... Mm-hmm. Well, there was that guy that hit the um the guy hit the hole in one behind us on Rogues. Uh, oh West yes, on nine. I forgot about or, that too. No, uh, nine, nine, yeah, nine coming back down. To the turn there. Is it nine? Yeah. There yeah. was one on another time I was there, it was um I think it's twelve. The par three on the back mm-hmm. of east. No, yes. the par three on the back of west. Um, because of that little par three yes. that comes yeah, up yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you have the yeah. par five that goes back yeah. down the hill. I remember somebody hold out there once when I was playing That's in the group sick. in front of them. Hell yeah. Um I'm trying to think of like there's I'm obvious there's obviously been so many. Have you ever been in the group a group with somebody that had a hole in one? No, I've been I've been on a group with people who have come extremely close. Yeah. Um, obviously, mine was really close too, but we've ha- I've had a couple people that landed like within like an inch, inch and a half. Yeah. And that was like heartbreaking to watch because yes. I'm like, fuck. Have you? No, nobody no. in my group ever. But again, like I've had a couple that are like three inches in and other people yeah. like that but no one yeah actually in hole one bro oh, so, what's the craziest shot you've ever seen or craziest thing you've ever seen in the golf course good or bad um let us know but yeah. i don't know yeah i think right up there my my 77 rounds probably that's probably one of my other well, hopefully we both go lower this season and we get a you know kind of yeah. improve on that i'd be i really want to shoot a 75 I'd like to be consistently like 75, 80. I think that's like where my, that's where I'd like to be. Yeah. But I know that might be a little unrealistic, but I think like, I don't know. I just need to put more time in. I clearly don't golf a whole lot. So, but yeah, it's just really getting more consistent and eliminating those big numbers. Um, That's the thing. It's so easy to then like blow up and snowball. Oh. You know, once you have that one double or triple, it's like bouncing back that next mm-hmm. hole and just making par or even making bogey and just not having a those big numbers on the card. Mm-hmm. It's 
It's a lot I That's learned the, from the game changing. That was a big thing I learned from like disc golf too, because I I play that like pretty competitively with tournaments and stuff. And like if I go out and like bogey a hole that I know I should have like birdied if I had like a really bad shot, the very next hole I just like I literally it's just a, a set it and forget it, right? Like yeah. okay, cool, that happened. Let's go get part of this one. Let's just let's just carry it through. Golf is like ball golf is a little harder for me, but only because you know we're still learning as we're going type of thing. But yeah, making sure that you play the shot that you should play rather than the shot that you want to play. Yeah, you know, like it's there's it's a big difference of oh I could go for the green here, but realistically I should just lay it up and then go for it. Yeah, you know? so yeah, the things that you learn. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.